Matthew 10, 5. Tutus, tus dodeca, a pestelen ha Jesus parangelas autois legon. Eis hadan ethnon me ap eltheta, kai eis palen samariton me eis eltheta. Remember that we've just read a list of the twelve names of the apostles, and now we read these twelve Jesus sent. That is a liquid verb. That's why we have a little bit of strange spelling there for the aorist, right? We had a lengthening of the stem vowel when the sigma was rejected. We also lost a lambda, but this is just an aorist active indicative, third person singular. Liquid verb. Remember when those verbs end in a lambda, mu, nu, or rho? We have that problem with the forms where a sigma is added right next to those. So this is an aorist. So again, starting at the beginning. So these 12... Jesus sent, having given instructions, that's an aorist participle of parangelo, uh, very similar, it's, it's also a liquid verb, it's uh, just an aorist active participle, nominative masculine singular referring to Jesus, I'm translating it temporally here, um, so having given instructions to them, saying, there's our re redundant or pleonastic participle used to introduce speech, almost like a quotation mark, Jesus said to them, into the way of the Gentiles, <clears throat> do not go, do not go forth. And into a city of the Samaritans, do not enter. We'll note here, we don't have a whole lot of time, we'll just note what's happening here with this me op el theta and me ace el theta. You'll note there that we have a lengthened vowel in the ending. You say, oh, that's usually what we find with the subjunctive, and that these are subjunctives. What we have here is may plus the aorist subjunctive is the way to say don't do something in the aorist. It's called the prohibitory subjunctive. That's the way you give a negative command in the aorist. It's not not may plus the aorist imperative form, but may plus the aorist subjunctive form. So that's what we have in both of these cases, and they're both second aorist subjunctives. You'll, you'll just note that the lexical form of op el theta is op ercomai, to go away or to, to go, and ace el theta, the lexical form is ace ercomai, to enter or to go in. And, excuse me there, let me write that there, ace ercomai. And so these are building on the second aorist. Remember, the second aorist of Erechimai is aothon. Subjunctives don't have augments, so the augment is yanked off, and we're left with the stem elth. That's why we have elth and elth. So we have here both second aorist active subjunctives, second person plural, used as prohibitory subjunctives. Do not go. Do not enter.